everybody, my name's Suzanne and I run the Babbling Book Club in Oran Moor. So what is the Babbling Book Club? The Babbling Book Club are groups that I run for little people and they're grown-ups too and we tell lots of stories and we do lots of songs and rhymes and play lots of games and have lots of fun. And the idea behind the groups is just to enhance communication, speech and language and early literacy skills. Um, I'm a speech and language therapist um, and I run the Babbling Book Club in Oran Moor. Really hoping <laughs> to get back to running it soon. But seeing as we're not running the book club at the moment, I thought it'd be nice to maybe tell people a story, a story that we like in the book club. Now, before we do story time in the book club, we always sing a song to get ourselves ready. So I'd like you to sing that song with me today. Are you ready? Here we go. Eyes are looking, ears are listening, hands are still, hands are still, feet are very quiet. I'm looking at your feet. You should really try it, listening well, listening well. Very good. Will we do it again? Yeah, let's get ready. Eyes are looking, ears are listening, hands are still, hands are still. Feet are very quiet, you should really try it. Listening well, listening well. Oh, very good. Everybody's listening and ready for story time. Can you see what's here beside me? This is a tree and that's giving you a clue about what today's story is. This tree was actually drawn for me by my mum. I haven't seen my mum in ages now, but she drew me this lovely tree last year and I hope you all like it. So this tree is giving us a clue about the book. Let's have a look. This is today's story. What can you see? I see a little boy and I see a tree. I wonder what this story is about. This story is called Stuck. And you can see the letters are all stuck in the tree. Stuck, and it's by Oliver Jeffers. And Oliver Jeffers wrote the book, but he also drew all the pictures. And it's published by HarperCollins UK. So let's have a look and see what it's all about. Firstly, I see a little boy and he's got a kite. I like to fly a kite. Let's see what happens with this kite. It all began when Floyd got his kite stuck in a tree. He tried pulling and swinging, but it wouldn't come unstuck. There it is, stuck in the tree. Now let me show you. Oh, 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 oh. There, there's Floyd's kite stuck in our tree. Oh my goodness, how's he gonna get it down? But the trouble really began when he threw his favourite shoe up to knock the kite loose. So he threw his shoe up into the tree to knock the kite loose. And that got stuck too. Oh no, his favourite shoe got stuck in the tree. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Let's see. He threw up his other shoe to knock down his favourite shoe. Oh, there it goes. And unbelievably, that got stuck as well. Oh no. Ooh. Two shoes up in the tree. In order to knock down his other shoe, Floyd fetched. Mitch. So this is Mitch. Meow. Mitch is his cat, I think. Meow. Maybe the cat is 
is going to climb up the tree and get everything out of the tree. Let's see. Uh-oh. Cats get stuck in trees all the time, but this was getting ridiculous. Look at poor Mitch. He's stuck up in the tree too. Oh my goodness. Oh, and look what I have. Oh, no, we put him here. Oh, there's Mitch stuck up in the tree. Meow, meow. Oh, poor Mitch. Floyd fetched a ladder. Ha oh, ha, good idea. He was going to sort this out once and for all. Here he is with a really long ladder. Do you think he's going to climb up the tree and get everything out of the tree? I think so. And up he threw it. <gasps> up he threw the ladder. And I'm sure you can guess what happened. <gasps> the ladder got stuck. Okay, here comes the ladder. Oh, the ladder got stuck. Oh my goodness, the ladder was borrowed from a neighbour and would definitely need to be put back before anyone noticed. And in order to do so, Floyd flung a bucket of paint at it. He flung up a bucket of paint. I wonder, will that get it unstuck? Ready? Oh, there's a bucket of paint. And wouldn't you know, the bucket of paint got stuck. See, there's our bucket of paint. It got stuck. Then Floyd tried. Let's see what else he tried. Oh, a duck to knock down the bucket of paint. A chair to knock down the duck. There's the chair. His friend's bicycle to knock down the chair. Oh my goodness, so here we go. A duck. We put the duck there. Oh, a duck to knock down the bucket of paint. A chair. Oh, to knock down the duck. His friend's bicycle. Ooh, throw it up into the tree to knock down the chair. It doesn't seem to have worked, does it? The kitchen sink to knock down his friend's bicycle. There's the kitchen sink and look, it's still dripping water. And their front door to knock down the kitchen sink. Look, he's taking down his friend's front door to knock down the kitchen sink. So up goes the kitchen sink. There it is. And up goes the front door. Let's see, does it fit in there? Oh, yes, it does. This tree is getting very crowded. So he's thrown up the kitchen sink and he's thrown up the door. <gasps> the next thing he's going to throw up is the family car <gasps> to knock down the front door. Oh my goodness, Floyd must be very strong. Up, oh, up goes the family car. Oh, it nearly didn't get stuck. There it is, it's stuck. And can you see there's somebody here saying, hello got milk with him. Oh, he's the milkman. And the milkman to knock down the family car. Oh, he threw, Floyd threw up the milkman. Oh my goodness, there's the milkman. To knock down the family car, but it didn't work because they're all in the tree. Next, he threw up an orangutan to knock down the milkman. Big hairy orangutan. Now I couldn't find an orangutan that would fit in this tree, so I have this guy. And you ready? Here he goes. He's going up, 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 up he goes. Look how strong Floyd must be to lift that orangutan. So they're all still stuck. So next he tries a small boat to knock down the orangutan, and a big huge boat to knock down the small boat. Can you see that? Can you see? Look, there's Floyd and he's pulling the big boat by his anchor, by its anchor. Wow, he's very strong. So let's see if any of them come unstuck. A small boat to knock down the orangutan. Oh, nope, that didn't work. 
a big boat, this was as big as I could find, to knock down the small boat. No. <gasps> wow. A rhinoceros to knock down the big boat. <gasps> Even bigger. A long distance lorry to knock down the rhinoceros. And even bigger, a house across the street to knock down the long distance lorry. And look, there's somebody in the house. And she's saying, Floyd? Where's Floyd? Lifting up the big house. So let's see, does any of this work? A rhinoceros? to knock down the big boat, didn't work. A long distance lorry, oh, to knock down the rhinoceros, no, that didn't work. And the house down the street, and look, I've got the little lady in here saying, Floyd, wait till I tell your mom. The house down the street to knock down the long distance lorry, let's see if that works, this one's tricky to get on. No, they're all still there. Then Floyd threw up a lighthouse to knock down the house that's no longer down the street. A lighthouse, let's see, will this work? What do you think, a lighthouse? No. And this is the biggest creature of them all. A curious whale who was in the wrong place at the wrong time. There's the whale, a big blue whale, and he says, hi, what are you doing? So Floyd gets him and he throws him up to knock down the lighthouse. But it didn't work. I don't think it worked. Let's see. <gasps> and they all got stuck. So just like in our tree, they're all stuck. And the lady in the house is saying, wait till I tell your mother. There she is. Wait till I tell your mother. He's going to be in big trouble. There's the house and the whale and the lorry and the big ship and the door and the ladder and the boat and the rhinoceros, the milkman, the poor milkman who's in there and his shoes and the kite. Oh, they're all stuck. Nina, Nina, Nina. A fire engine was passing and he heard all, they heard all the commotion. So the firemen stopped to see if they could help at all. Can we help at all? Says the chief fire officer. And up they went. First the engine, followed by the fireman, one by one. And can you see Floyd lifting up the fireman, throwing them all up into the tree. So first, here comes the fire engine, Nina, Nina, Nina. And the fireman, one by one, here's the chief. Oh, there he goes, oh my goodness. And the other fireman, Oh, and see there's a fireman sitting, because if you look, when Floyd threw up the fire engine, there's a fireman in it. Oh my goodness. There's not much room left in that tree. And there the fireman stayed, stuck between the orangutan and one of the boats. Firemen would definitely be noticed missing, and Floyd knew he was going to be in big trouble. Then he had an idea. Bing! Sometimes when you have an idea, it's like a light bulb going off in your head. Bing! Like the light coming on. You see, Floyd has an idea with his light bulb. <gasps> Floyd threw it up anyway. So he had an idea and he went to find a saw. I wonder what he's going to do with a saw. What could he do with a saw? Hmm. Let's have a look. He lined the saw up as best he could and, oh no, he hurled it up the tree. So he threw it, he flung it, he hurled it up the tree. And I have a saw with me today and I'm going to hurl it up the tree as well. Bop. Oh, my tree nearly fell down, it's so full. There is no more room in that tree, I don't think. And that was it. Pop! There was no more room left in the tree and the kite came 
on stock. Floyd was delighted. He had forgotten all about his kite and he put it to use immediately, enjoying the rest of his day very, very much. Oh, out pops the kite. Oh, oh my goodness. <laughs> because there's no more room in the tree and out comes the kite and Floyd plays with it for the rest of the day. It's night time now. That night, Floyd fell asleep exhausted. And if you look carefully, you can see he's got his kite with him. He loves that kite. Hmm. So before he fell asleep, he could have sworn there was something he was forgetting. Hmm. I wonder what he could be forgetting. Forgot about everybody else in the tree. Oh no! And that's the end of the story. I wonder, did Floyd remember the next day to get everybody down from the tree? I hope so. That was a great story. And now that's the end of the story. Hmm. So before we go in the Babbling Book Club, we always sing songs and rhymes. But we have a favourite. We have a favourite song that we love to sing in the Babbling Book Club. So if you're ready and you have something to shake, you can just shake your hands. Let's shake our sillies out. We're going to shake, shake, shake our sillies out. Shake, shake, shake our sillies out. Shake, shake, shake our sillies out. Wiggle our waggles away. We're gonna clap, clap, clap our crazies out. Clap, clap, clap our crazies out. Clap, clap, clap our crazies out. Wiggle our waggles away. We try and bang. We're gonna bang, bang, bang our bang. Out, bang, 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 bang our bouncies out, bang, bang, bang our bouncies out, wiggle our waggles away, and one more time, we're gonna shake, shake, shake our sillies out, shake, shake, shake our sillies out, shake, shake, shake our sillies out. Wiggle our waggles away. Yay! Oh, thanks everybody for listening. And remember, keep washing your hands, keep them nice and clean, and stay safe. And hopefully, we'll see you back in the Babbling Book Club very, very soon. Stay tuned because Lindsay from Toodaloo is coming up next and she's going to do some great crafts with you that link maybe to our story stock. So thanks for listening and let's sing goodbye. Let's sing goodbye together. Let's sing goodbye together. Let's sing goodbye together. We're glad you came today. Hi there, my name is Lindsay and I'm from Toodaloo. I develop creative learning workshops for children all over Ireland. And since the beginning of 2020, that has all been happening online. So I am delighted to be able to join you all up in Donegal through this online workshop, Story and a Craft with the Babbling Book Club and Toodaloo. So having just listened to the fabulous telling of Oliver Jeffers Stuck, with my friend Suzanne from the Babbling Book Club, I'm now going to talk you through two really simple but really fun art and craft projects that you can make either in your classroom or at the kitchen table with your own family. The materials required are all really simple and I give lots of alternatives to make sure that everyone has what you would need at home. And our first project is a drawing project. 
Older kids are going to be able to draw the items themselves. Younger kids might need parents to do an outline and then they can color them in. But it's a really fun way to make your own version of the tree that Floyd loves hurling all of the different objects into. The second one is to make a crafted enormous paper tree and then to go on a bit of a scavenger hunt around your house. Dig into your toy boxes, have a look all around the house inside and out to find how many objects from the story you can find in your own home that you can then place onto your tree. So it's taking a craft project and then expanding it into an activity that the kids will hopefully really enjoy taking part of. And it should work just great in your classroom as well because I'm sure you have lots of those objects that Floyd hurled up into the tree in your classroom. So thank you so much to Wayne Fest for involving the Babbling Book Club and Toodaloo. I hope you really enjoy doing these activities together in your classroom or as a family. Have fun! So we're going to start by gathering together some of the materials. I've got a great big paper bag, some white paper or card, scissors and anything you can use for colours. Twistables, markers, paints if you have them, but you don't need them. And I like to use recyclables, so I took a really old paper bag, cut up the sides and opened it out until I had a huge, big, long, rectangular shape. Then I used that to draw my tree, and I just used a marker to make a basic outline of a great, big, tall tree trunk to start with. And added in a little bit of detail with my marker, and then a twistable, just to make it look more like the bark of a tree until I had a big, strong trunk to work with. Then I started on the leaves of the tree, filling them in with twistables of two different colours of green, a little bit of marker, and then because I had it, I used some watercolour paints, which gave me a great big, beautiful green tree like the ones in the gardens and parks right now. I used my scissors to cut it out so I had a nice, clean-edged tree to work with. Now, if you don't have a great big piece of paper or a paper bag, don't worry about it. A plain old A4 piece of paper works just fine to draw your tree trunk, the green leaves of your tree, so that you have a gorgeous big tree to work with on A4 paper. So now comes the fun bit, where we get to start making all of those hilarious things that Floyd kept tossing into the tree. The kite, the shoes, the cat, the boat, the ladder, the door. My goodness, he just goes on and on. So I drew these objects on some paper. If you've got little ones at home, moms and dads might want to draw the outline and then have them colour it in, but older kids can probably do a fantastic job of drawing all of these objects themselves, as many as you can. Then I cut them out, carefully going around the edges with my scissors, so that I could stick all of the objects into the tree just like Floyd did. So your paper craft is going to be amazing just like that with as many of the different objects as you'd like to add into your tree. You can hang it on your fridge and share it with us so we can see what an amazing job you did. If you've made a great big paper tree, then the fun of the scavenger hunt begins. So my two little boys and I went all around our house searching for objects that we could use that were just like the ones in the story. And we piled them all into the tree just like Oliver Jeffers' amazing illustration with all of those hilarious things popping out of the tree when Floyd goes to bed at night. I hope you've had a lot of fun making a craft to go along with Stuck. Thank you to Suzanne Riley of Babbling Book Club for our story hour, and thank you boys and girls for joining in with us at home. Bye!